There are plenty of different ghost legends across the world. There's an almost endless array of ghosts out there. There are poltergeists, wraiths, revenants, ghouls, shadows, and spectres hidden in the darkness. Each of these beings can be subject to the cultural influences of the country they have found in. Japan in particular is home to one of the most unique and curious kinds of spirits, the ravenous, eternally hungry ghosts. One of the most popular and well-known hungry ghosts of Japan is the Hidarugami. The name roughly translates to Hungry God, and it's the apt name for the spirit. They're said to be the souls of people who die as a result of starvation while wandering across the remote mountain trails of the country. They die alone and hungry, with no kind of grave marker to indicate where they fell. They're also known by the names of Darashi Daru and Hidarutami, depending on the region of Japan they inhabit. Given the unfortunate nature of their death, the spectres are said to be cursed and condemned to find others and make them share in the anguish and agony that is their eternal hunger. There are many stories about travellers making their way through remote mountain paths and suddenly feeling an intense and insatiable level of hunger that they have never had before. The sensation is said to be completely overwhelming, with travellers becoming incapacitated by the sheer power of the hunger that they can't explain or understand. This feeling often comes with a sudden numbness and fatigue, causing the victim to collapse down onto the ground, still with no idea what has happened to them. If these episodes are left unchecked, they can lead to insanity, if not death. The reason for the sudden hunger is said to be a form of demonic possession carried out by the starving spirits. If nothing is done, then it is said that the victim is sure to die. Upon their death, they will surely join the pack of ravenous Hudaragami spirits. The law on the spirit suggests that their fate can be avoided if one keeps even a small amount of food to hand. Even a grain of rice will be enough to dispel the supernatural hunger. If you can eat it before becoming incapacitated by the insane hunger. This is the reason that Japanese hikers will traditionally carry even a small amount of food at all times when exploring these areas, no matter how long they intend to be hiking. Other traditions, such as the traditions in the Shiga prefecture, suggest that Hidaragami is more of a zombie than a spirit. The creature will rise from the ground to tear apart the people that stand close to them, wanting to eat them and satisfy their eternal hunger at last. Best to keep some rice balls on you when hiking in Japan, just in case. This might sound like little more than some spooky folklore, but there are actually many stories about people that have come face to face with the starving Hidarugami spirit. Perhaps the most famous story of a Hidarugami encounter is the story of Senkichi, who was nursed back to health in a village. When he awoke, he told the villagers of how he was set upon by the ravenous wraiths. Another story from the same era comes from the traveller Mitsuki Shigeru. He was attacked by the ghosts and just barely managed to escape their wraiths by grabbing and eating a few grains of rice that had been scattered on the ground before they attacked him. These encounters, along with other encounters with the ghosts, mean that warnings about the Hidarugami spirit can be found in travel guides and maps. These warnings suggest that people should take a rice ball with them, at the very least, in order to ward away the spectres and prevent a spiritual attack. There are a number of legends attributed to these spirits across rural Japan. In the Wakayama prefecture, there is said to be a pit deep down in the earth near Mount Shokamatori and Mount Okamatori, from which the Idarugami will spew forth. 
there are several areas of Japan that have shrines across the mountain paths where travellers can pray to ward the spirits away. It is believed that the stories of the hungry spirits are little more than a personification of the hunger and famine that once plagued rural Japan. The tales still continue to be told across isolated parts of the country though. The good news is that Hidarigami is considered to be a weak spirit. Banishing one is as simple as eating something or performing a particular ritual to wall away the Moembotoki, the unworshipped dead. The tales of the vampire Gaki are related to the Hidarigami. The Gaki are also known by the name Prita or hungry ghosts. The spirits originated in Chinese and Tibetan mythology and are said to be tormented spirits condemned to forever wander the hellish world of the Gakido, where they will suffer from unquestionable thirst and hunger. The Gaki are described as being vaguely humanoid but with distended stomachs, useless mouths and oversized heads. The mouths of the Gaki only serve to further deny them the sustenance they are so desperately craving. These Gaki spirits are said to be cursed with the hunger they were feeling when they died, which creates something of a range of Gaki. The lowest of the low of these spirits endlessly seek out even the most gruesome of food, anything to satiate their hunger. This includes vomit, feces, corpses and so on. They will desperately lick even tiny drops of blood but they will never feel anything close to satisfied. These spirits are considered to be living in a realm just above hell, which the Japanese call Jigoku. When the spirits do manage to finally find something they are looking for, their meal or drink is said to instantly erupt into fire and leave them tormented. They are said to only be able to eat things that have been consecrated and blessed by sacred Buddhist ceremony. There are many areas where yearly ceremonies are held to leave out rice and water to appease these spirits. Their ceremony is called Sigaki. As with the Gaki, there are a number of reports of people encountering these spirits. They are generally considered to be a sort of mischievous poltergeist. Even priests have found themselves hit by intense feelings of hunger and suffering because of the entities. Luckily though, these spirits can be warded off without a problem by using particular ceremonies and charms. Something that is interesting about them is that their name has become a colloquial word for bad children. The word gaki is also used to refer to children who suck the energy out of the people around them and are never satisfied what they have been given. The best equivalent in English would be the word brat. The spirits are known to stick to people and follow them around draining them of their energy. If one attaches itself to you, then there's not much you can do outside of calling in a priest. There will no doubt be many people who are going to just write these spirits off as telltales and folklore. The stories are deeply entrenched in Japanese legends and are purely fictional. Even so, there are parallels between these creatures and creatures from other cultures, and there are still reports of encountering them to this day. Are the stories nothing more than myth and legend, or are there actually something to it after all? No matter what you think about the stories, the hungry ghosts of Japan allegedly continue to prowl around to this day, and are simply beyond our ability to understand. <laughs>